everyone, thank you for joining me. So this is going to be my next entry into the um, 80th anniversary. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So this is going to be my next entry into the D-Day 80th anniversary. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So this is going to be my next entry into the D-Day anti- Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So this is going to be my next entry into the D-Day 80th anniversary group build being run by Charlie Mack. Um, this will be my fourth entry because the Jack Panther, um, although it was going to be the fourth, of course, um, turned out that I couldn't use that because uh, the date was wrong. Um, it was later in uh, World War II that the Jack Panther appeared on the scene. So this uh, was a bigger set, um, as you can see there, there the D-Day Sea Assault gift set. And in the set you got uh, two Higgins um, landing craft, uh, a Willys Jeep um, trailer and a howitzer and some US infantry and also a diorama base. Um, all I've got left now are the two um, Higgins landing craft. Um, my nephew Ryan made the jeep uh, some time back um, and I can't find the um, infantry pieces and the diorama base to be honest <clears throat> I wasn't particularly interested in anyway. So the intention is to build one of the uh, landing craft and I'll build it in such a way that um, uh, obviously <laughs> it won't be recessed in a diorama it'll just be freestanding. I'll just get you the um, the parts so you can see I haven't started. So as you can see the two boats are there, um, obviously I'll just be building the one. I have got a third landing craft um, which I believe is identical to these. Um, it's in its own box uh, released by Airfix but I think you can make it up as a British one. Um, these uh, would both be made up as American landing craft. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm hoping it won't take uh, too long. I don't think there are that many pieces to it. Um, I'm not sure I've ever put one of these together before, so that will be quite interesting. I'm going to keep this as one video, so the next time you see this, it will be at least constructed. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, so I'm back, and as you can see, the um, landing craft is constructed. I jumped the gun a bit because I've already um, given it a, a primer coat, uh, but I've left this loose so that I can paint um, not so much down the back here but certainly inside here and along the sides um, so that's loose. What's nice about this kit is you get, um, if it'll come off, <coughs> you get a um, stand for it so not only do you get the um, uh, diorama uh, setting but if you don't use that, you can just pop this on the stand, which is pretty cool. I was going to try and make one myself, but then realised it came with the kit. So that's, uh, that is most excellent. So the next time you see this, it will be finished. So here is the completed build, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun building this, and uh, I was just in the zone for it, and so it didn't take uh, long at all. Um, I was quite fortunate in that the spray paint, the grey that you see, is um, Grace here from Games Workshop and I thought that uh, looked quite close to um, how these things looked so that is just that um, paint really and then what I did on part of the um, boat that you can't see is uh, I just tested a couple of uh, the AK paints to see which one was close to that in case I needed to do any touch-ups. Um, the dark grey on the top is supposed to be dark sea grey. What I used was a K's anthracite grey, um, but I think that works really well. I do wonder whether this was uh, an anti slip material, um, you know, around the edge here and down in the, actually inside the um, on the ramp. Um, there was no issues with this kit apart from at the end fitting this uh, deck that goes all the way around. Um, I had a bit of a struggle with that, but I got there in the end, so no uh, no real issues. Um, 
I think uh, that's all that I need to say to be honest. Um, just uh, one of those kits that I would happily build again to be honest uh, and I've got uh, two others uh, as I've already mentioned. I've got one from the, this uh, set and then I've got a, a separately boxed one um, but I don't think I'll build one um, just now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it guys. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers who've joined the channel. Um, it really is uh, encouraging. And of course, thank you to all my old hands who, um, who comment and uh, support me. Um, it really means a lot guys that uh, you do that. Um, and uh, just keeps me going, so thank you. Anyway, um, I hope your week is going well. Look after yourselves please. And I'll catch up with you soon.